Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net. This is Carol Parisi, along with uh, Kim Hilgeman from the Awaken America Great Awakening Group, and our founder, Jack Roser. And Jack has something very specific to say about how we got Illinois in such a train wreck. And Jack, you were speaking to the Beck Amendment during the break. Sure. Uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of um, very good teachers in the system. Uh, I've often said that uh, what you've got, half of the teachers in the system are saints working in a really lousy, badly managed system. Uh, it only runs at all well because of the integrity of a, f of a number of individuals. Uh, the other half uh, that I'm not speaking of are the remainder of the teachers that are, have uh, retired while still on the payroll mm. uh, because this is managed so badly. Mm -hmm. But uh, how did this uh, state of affairs happen? Uh, it's because the, the average teacher has been uh, uh, exploited by the IEA union, the enemy of the republic. I call them that because of what they've done to education, uh, the ability of our kids to get jobs, uh, to learn decent things. Uh, they've completely emasculated the school system. How did they do it? Uh, the Beck decision uh, went through the Supreme Court, determined that 80% of the dues that teachers pay to their union is only for political works and it's illegal to demand them to pay it. Now, the union lawyers are fighting that thing through, but it went all the way through the Supreme Court of California and of the U.S. Supreme Court that 80% of the dues are not applicable to the workplace and therefore uh, should be illegal for the unions to force the payment by the teachers. But they're forcing them. So in a typical ordinary sized district, uh, the 80% uh, of the dues they're paying it could well amount to something in the order of $400,000 that the IEA, enemy of the republic, is using in a political way mm -hmm. to dominate the whole thing. The head of the, of the union for the political workers uh, in, inside the state was recently uh, quoted publicly uh, that they had enough political power that they could elect their own administrators. In short, they've completely isolated the parents and the, and, uh, the taxpayers mm -hmm. from any effect on the school system that they don't want. So they are in there running this thing for their own purposes. Mm -hmm. and that's why the achievement scores are bad, why you don't have any morality taught there, nor even arithmetic. Mm -hmm. uh, they've made a mess of this whole thing, and it's due to the IEA. I wouldn't call them a teacher's union. They are just a branch of the NEA, which Forbes magazine called, here it is, the National Extortion Association. This is back in 1993, and it's been going on since then. This is a prediction of the kind of crap we're getting from the IEA in our own state, and it's got to stop and uh, there has to be a big revolution for people to get the Democrats out of office because the IEA is a big 800-pound gorilla uh, down in Springfield. There's no other union. The Teamsters are pussycats compared to the IEA. we got to get rid of those guys. Okay. Well, Jack, I'm looking forward to getting a copy of this, for the, of this article on the National Association. I once distributed 1,000 of those 18 years ago. Well, you know what? We need more of these. And... Um, I think this is going to wrap up another great edition of Champion News Talk Radio. I'd like to thank you, Kim Hilgeman, uh, our wonderful promotional director for the Great Awakening Group, Awaken America. You could go to thegreatawakening.ning.com to check us out, correct? Correct. And I know that there's going to be our next level uh, Awaken America meeting on the 21st of July at Palatine Public Library. So join us there. Again, thank you for joining us here, as I hope you do every Sunday from 8 a.m. on AM 560. This is Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by ChampionNews.net. This is your choice for the conservative voice.